so i will let you see this video of westgate assuring um people of ivory coast that my guys i they can't mash up the place and this was the video uh, yeah i'm just for the bar on the way to start with the videos i see you soon let's then move to benny benny's show with westgate was a great success very beautiful he was on stage audience reaction everything was on point and these are some of the excerpts coming from the benin show <laughs> And you can see the audience are well charged. DJ Paco Rich. Oh, la la. <laughs> My people, welcome to the channel here. We call here DJ Paco Rich. I mean, when the news drops. We they do our possible best to say we go carry am come give you as it is. Do the investigations, do all the research, and make sure that we tell you what it is. If today is your first time watching this channel, I will urge you to subscribe to this channel because we have a lot of goodies for you when it comes to entertainment and news about Africa. So on the 10th of December, something happened in Ghana, which I'm sure you are all aware of what is going on. About whiskey and live hub events. It was a complete flop and mess up. And there was a voice that um, whiskey, not a voice, but whiskey has been booked for a, another show in Abidjan, which is Ivory Coast, the former capital of Ivory Coast, that is Abidjan. I don't know the kind of events it was. And I also knew that <clears throat> Whiskey has also been booked for another show in Beni. Beni. I'm talking about the Beni Republic, not the Beni uh, Nigerians make reference to. So I personally, I was wondering how he was going to perform in both countries in one day. But um, I mean, these guys are top guys. They're always jetting off. They are moving with a private jet and all that. So, I mean, when you are moving with an aircraft, everything where you won't do, it be possible. You go feed do one. So, um, this is a video <coughs> of Westgate getting ready to move to Abidjan. And from then, he will go to Beni. And then we know Beni is close to Nigeria. He can actually even walk to Nigeria when he's in Benin. So this is the video of Westgate. I'm going to tell you something about what happened in Abidjan. So as you're watching the video, this is Westgate in his private jet with his team. Yes, trying to get ready for their Benin trip. Yes. So you can see in the private jets, we have our 2 bs we have Westkid in there. These are his Ghanaian friends that he clicked so much with. So after the Ghana show, they jetted off to Abidjan, which we saw a couple of staffs, um, video from Westkid himself telling Abidjan to be ready for him because he's coming out there to make them feel good. I think I have the video as well. So I will let you see this video of Westgate assuring um, people of Ivory Coast that my guys, I they can't mash up the place. And this was the video. Okay, so that was a video which he told Abidjan, the people, the French people, the Francophone people that he's on his way coming to perform to them and 
they were happy because I think somewhere in August 2015, there was a disappointment from his side to them. So they were looking out for him to come and make up. Then, boom, in the news, we had it in our face that Westkid was unable to perform in Abidjan after flying out from Ghana, Ghana to know if he performed. So now the question people are asking right now that what is really the problem? Is it that his team are not getting on the grounds earlier to find out that whatever he needs or whatever he demands to perform as a superstar is done before he even gets there? Yes, 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 yes. It, it can be one, it can be twice, but when it is becoming too much, the reputation and the name of the artist is at stake. And that's what attracts that question that, or that saying, they also, oh, people keep saying, why me? Why, why always me? Why always waste, waste kid? You understand? I keep on saying that this is not healthy for we as an Africans, because if these artists are built in these international shows, they always turn up. I'm not putting the blame on the artist or the organizers or whoever. I don't know who is at fault with this Abidjan particular incident, but I know of that of Ghana that the organizers messed up. So they have to carry their own cross. But with this Abidjan one, what was really the problem? Because this is the second time this is happening there, and the French people seems not to be very happy i don't know why so personally i would like to play with the team of waste kid that if there is anything that they are not doing right it is not good because some of the videos that came from um the french country doesn't look so good for the, those who understand french you can Interpret it to those that we do not understand in the comment section. But this is what a man or the MC on stage wearing a Nigerian jersey. He's an Abidjan, a French guy, but you can see the love that he has for Nigeria. He wore his Nigerian jersey waiting for whiskey. He never came in. He was saying some things, and I bet it was in anger. Since I don't speak French, I can't really explain very well. <laughs> La main sur le cœur, mesdames et messieurs, je vous demanderai et je vous porte mon garant ce soir pour parler au nom de tout le comité d'organisation. Pour une fois, quand la pierre n'est pas jetée au comité d'organisation, il faut le dire. J'ai tenu le micro, je ne suis pas dans la chasse de ma famille. Je pense que vous méritez le respect. Je pense que vous communiquez ce qu'on a dit dans les plus brefs délais, mais qu'à jamais, le reste. Merci, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Les, les patients, les patients, les patients. Clearly, you can see that the Frenchman is very angry because of what's happened between them and Westkill. Probably, we don't know what exactly the problem is. I'm trying to get a French translator to get me the real um, details of the message he was trying to put across. But it clearly seems that the French guys are very unhappy with Westkill flying into the country and not performing we'll still find out and you know when i say i will still find out i mean what i'm saying so
let's then move to Benny. Benny's show with Westgate was a great success. Very beautiful. He was on stage audience, reaction, everything was on point. And these are some of the excerpts coming from the Benin show. Are you ready for Whiskey? And you can see the audience are well charged. Chilling, 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 Benny Whiskey. This is what every country was expecting. And um, so this is exactly what happened in um, Benin yesterday. They were lucky. <clears throat> The star boy turned up for them, and some people are saying, "Say, and uh, uh, many people talk and say, first food will be full, second food will be full, but third food will be full. So if whiskey you don't perform for year, we we can actually walk to Nigeria to grab you, <laughs> or even kiss you with a body or her. <laughs> Channel people make aggressive, oh." So the artists, please, stand up, stand up for these shows. I'm still about to find out what really happened in Abidjan. But for now, enjoy what happened in Benin. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you feel about these things. Is it healthy for entertainment in Africa, for artists to be um, gathering their fans and they don't show up and all that? It is quite stressful, you know? Thank you for watching. Share your views, share your comments right here on this channel. My name is DJ Parker Rich. DJ Paco Rich